Once upon a time, Jennifer Lawrence was one of Hollywood's most eligible bachelorettes. The new mother was once linked with handsome and successful men in Hollywood. Hi, welcome to You Wanna Watch, and in this video, we're going to talk about Jennifer Lawrence's dating history. First in our list is the beast himself, Nicholas Holt. There have been numerous Hollywood couples that met as co-stars on set. Some of them turn out to be long-term relationships just like Jennifer Lawrence and Nicholas Holt's romance, and some have a very short shelf life. Nicholas, like Jennifer, has had a great career that began when he was a child and about a boy, and Jennifer has had great success with The Hunger Games. They started dating after meeting on the set of X-Men First Class and were a power couple, at least for a short time. The couple made their red carpet debut at the Screen Actors Guild Awards in 2011 after filming X-Men First Class and dating for a few months. Jennifer's date for the evening was Nicholas. Nicholas bought the couple a house in London in 2014, and according to his sister, he bought all of the furniture from Ikea. Doesn't that seem like the most at-home thing you've ever heard? He also seemed to have a fascination for Feng Shui. But, like all couples, they had their disagreements, and one of Jennifer's favorite ways to vent her frustrations was to rant at Nicholas in a southern drawl. After the pair had broken up in 2015, an eyewitness claimed to have witnessed the couple having a screaming match in a restaurant. No doubt the eyewitness heard Jennifer's odd little shift of dialect, but we don't think Nicholas found it very endearing this time. Jennifer admitted to Diane Sawyer that the conclusion of the X-Men movies, as well as their relationship, had a significant impact on her. There is no science in here. We have Chris Martin next. Jennifer also dated Chris Martin, the lead singer of Coldplay, who she started dating in August 2014, five months after his ex-wife Gwyneth Paltrow filed for divorce. Jennifer and Chris dated for four months before breaking up for the first time in October 2014. The pair were cited on a dinner date in late December of that year, implying that they were back together. They were first seen together in January 2015 at Harry Styles' 21st birthday party in Los Angeles, then again in April for a nice weekend in New York City, and again in May in Los Los Angeles. However, in August 2015, multiple sources told people Jennifer and Chris broke up for the final time. Not sure if they have been hungry for each other. We have Liam Hemsworth. Many fans of the Hunger Games franchise have remarked that Jennifer Lawrence and Liam Hemsworth have a lot of chemistry considering they were featured in four of the films together. With that in mind, it's no wonder that some fans of both performers have been wishing for them to get together. There have been some great actors who have fallen in love on set over the years. The vast majority of performers who have kissed on camera, on the other hand, have kept their relationship professional the rest of the time. As a result, most fans of Liam Hemsworth and Jennifer Lawrence as a couple felt they would never hear anything about their relationship heating up. Jennifer, on the other hand, has previously acknowledged that she and Liam had had a hot relationship. Fans of Jennifer and Liam who want to see the two together will have to wait. Nobody knows if the two ever dated or if they've always been good friends. Another Chris on our list is Chris Pratt. Jennifer Lawrence is a star who is trolled on a regular basis. You could call it a disadvantage of being so well-known all across the world. Jennifer was trolled for no reason when Chris Pratt and Anna Faris announced their separation in 2017 as a result of public speculation that the Passengers actress was seeing her co-star Chris, the couple decided to call it quits. The couple did not finalize the details of their divorce and, as a result, began mocking each other on social media. Jennifer Lawrence was dubbed a snake by by one internet user who claimed she was the reason for Chris and Anna's breakup. However, these two shut down rumors hard and claim they're just great friends. Next on our list is Darren Aronofsky. Darren Aronofsky is an American film director, producer, and screenwriter. In 2016, Darren and Jennifer met for the first time, and she was so taken with his original concept that she agreed to take on the role of mother before she'd finished reading the script. According to most reports, Darren expects a lot from his actors. Jennifer is a force to be reckoned with. As a result, their creative approach was frequently tumultuous. However, it appears that they were able to put the incident behind them. Fans wondered if the director and actress's romance was sparked by their close professional connection after news of their dating surfaced. And Jennifer clarified the history of their relationship. After months of rehearsing and filming Mother came to a close, it didn't take long for rumors about their relationship to start circulating. Darren, after all, had a habit of dating his actresses, and Jennifer had proven she had a thing for older men. But according to Jennifer, their romantic relationship didn't begin until after Mother was in post-production. Lawrence expressed her admiration for Darren's brains and vision, and, while most people only knew him as a gloomy film director, she was smitten by his human side. The pair were able to keep their relationship low-key at first. 
first, but as any A-list celebrity will tell you, they couldn't keep it a secret forever. The seeming age discrepancy, which is 22 years, between them was one of the first things fans noticed about their relationship. While they claimed it had nothing to do with their capacity to connect with one another, it turned out to be one of the factors in their breakup. Jennifer, according to People magazine, is still trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life. And Darren has responsibilities that she may not have been prepared for, such as parenthood. It's understandable that their decades of age gap had a role in their breakup. But, according to Jennifer, that wasn't the most important factor in their split. The movie Mother brought them together. It was also what eventually pushed them apart. In an interview with actor Adam Sandler, the actress said that the director was obsessed with the reaction to their controversial film. Jennifer was irritated and wanted to go away from the ruckus and unfavorable response to the film. Darren, on the other hand, could think of and talk about nothing else, according to the actress. The only way she seemed to be able to realize her ambition was to break up with Darren. But, at the very least, their breakup was amicable, a source close to the two claims they remained friends after they announced their split. We are nearing the end of our video, but before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel, and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash you wanna watch. Okay, now back to the story, and the one who put the bun in the oven is Cook Maroney. Jennifer Lawrence's decision to go to New York City during her acting hiatus looked to be a good one, since she met art gallerist Cook Maroney there in early 2018. Her first goal did not appear to include falling in love. Lawrence told Ed in February 2018, 18 that she was going to take the following year off to work for an organization that would get young people interested politically on a local level. Yet People reports that Jennifer began dating Cook in late May of that year. In June 2018, Jennifer Lawrence and Cook Mulroney confirmed their relationship after being seen walking arm in arm in New York City. E! News Online reports that Jennifer appeared to be having a great time when the two were pictured out and about together on multiple occasions. The couple was even caught staring adoringly at each other while dining al fresco that same June. Not not only were they alleged to be completely into each other, but they also spoke for several hours and kissed. They appeared really comfortable, a source told People at the time, adding that Jennifer is smiling like I have never seen her do with any of her past partners, pointing to their amazing chemistry. Jennifer Lawrence was officially off the market and engaged to Cook Maroney by February 2019. Page Six stated that the Silver Linings Playbook star was photographed wearing a huge ring on her engagement finger while out for a romantic dinner in a New York restaurant, sparking rumors of a proposal. According to the onlooker, the couple appeared to be celebrating something that night as well. Jennifer and Cook married in October 2019 at the Belcourt of Newport House in Rhode Island, with 150 people in attendance including Adele, Amy Schumer, and Kris Jenner. The actress agent announced to People in September 2021, over two years after the couple married, that the couple is expecting their first child together. Jennifer looked stunning in a dazzling Dior gown at the NYC premiere of Don't Look Up on December 5, 2021, when she flaunted her baby bump on the red carpet. The actress appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert the following night when she discussed how she spent her time away from Hollywood. I just had a ton of sex, said Jennifer, laughing while looking down at her pregnant belly. She assured the laughing audience, I'm joking. What do you think about our list? Did we miss anyone that you think should have been included? Let us know by writing a comment on this video. If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time watchers, thank you for watching our video.